In this video, we're going to explore the life of Sheikha Hind al Maktoum, the main wife of Dubai's ruler, Sheikh Mohammed. She's been with him for almost 50 years, a time filled with lots of changes and big events. While some of Sheikh Mohammed's other wives left under dramatic circumstances, Sheikha Hind has always been there, raising their 12 kids, including the future leader, Sheikh Hamdan. Her life's been interesting, with a huge wedding and growing up in a traditional way. We'll look into what her life is like and what it tells us about her role in the royal family. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe as we get into her story. Let's begin. Let's go back to February 12, 1962, the day Sheikha Hind al Maktoum was born. She came from a very important family in Dubai, the al Maktoum dynasty. Growing up, Sheikha Hind lived in a palace surrounded by her family's traditions and culture. It must have been quite different from most people's childhoods. Here's a fun fact for you. Sheikha Hind and Shaikh Mohammed, who would later become her husband, they were cousins. Even when they were kids, their lives were already connected. So, think about this for a moment. Imagine being Sheikha Hind, growing up in a palace, getting ready for a life that would be important for a whole country. Stick around as we continue to explore her life story. There's a lot more to share. Let's talk about a really big day in Sheikha Hind's life, her wedding to Sheikh Mohammed in 1979. Imagine being just 17 years old and getting married in a huge celebration. Sheikh Mohammed was a big deal then, leading Dubai's police and defense. Now, think about a stadium built for 20,000 people just for a wedding. There were horse and camel shows and even planes doing tricks in the sky. And guess what? This wedding cost about $100 million. It wasn't just any wedding. It was like a big party for the whole of Dubai. Imagine being Sheikha Hind, so young, and stepping into such an important role. This wedding was more than just a celebration. It was a sign of big changes in Dubai. Stick around as we see more about how Sheikha Hind handled this big change. After her big wedding, Sheikha Hind became the first lady of Dubai. But let's think about what that really means. It's not just a fancy title. It's about taking on a lot of important jobs and living up to what people expect. Imagine having a new baby almost every year. That's a big job, especially when you're part of a royal family. Sheikha Hin showed how strong and dedicated she is by doing this. And there's more. She also looked after foster kids, showing that she cares for many children, not just her own. This shows us she's kind and caring. Sheikha Hind keeps a low profile, staying away from the public eye. This tells us about her traditional values and how she prefers to do things. So, as we talk about her life, remember, Sheikha Hind isn't just any first lady. She's a key figure in one of the fastest changing places in the world, balancing her family life with her public role. Sheikha Hind's life as the first lady of Dubai wasn't always easy. Along with all the good times, she had some really tough moments too. Think about this. Her life was more than big parties and being a royal. She had to face some hard times as well. One of the saddest parts of her life was when she lost her son, Rashid. Imagine how tough that must be, especially when everyone is watching. That takes a lot of strength to get through. But her story isn't just about the hard times. It's also about how strong she is and how she stayed true to herself and her traditions, even when things got tough. While Sheikh Mohammed's other relationships were always changing, Sheikha Hind was always there like a rock for her family and for Dubai. Let's think about what it means to stay strong when life gets hard. Sheikha Hin shows us what it's like to keep going, even when things are tough. As we keep talking about her life, remember, Sheikha Hin's story is not just about being royal. It's about a woman who faced both good and bad times with courage. Stick with me to learn more about her incredible journey. Let's talk about how Sheikha Hind has made a big difference in Dubai and beyond She's not just important because she's the first lady of Dubai. She's done a lot to help her country grow. Take the 10 million meals campaign she led during the COVID-19 pandemic. It helped give over 15 million meals to people who needed them. That's a big deal. And she even got an award for helping so many people. But there's more. Sheikha Hind really supports women getting more chances to do great things in the UAE. She's helped make it possible for women to have a bigger role in making the country better. Think about this. 
Sheikah Hind might not be on TV a lot, but what she does really matters and changes things for a lot of people. Let's keep learning about her and the good things she's doing. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We always talk about the lives of famous and powerful people, and today, we've got a really interesting story for you. It's about Sheikh Hamdan and some big changes in his life. But first, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any of our videos. We're going to take a close look at Sheikh Hamdan's life, especially after his divorce from his second wife, Hadiya Zen. This happened because Sheikh Muhammad, a very important person in his life, made the decision. It's a big deal because it changed a lot of things in his family. So, let's get into this story together. We're going to find out about the secrets and the behind-the-scenes stuff in Sheikh Hamdan's life. It's going to be like we're exploring a hidden world of a very rich and powerful family. Let's get started and see what we can find out. Alright, let's talk about Sheikh Hamdan's family life. I want to bring you in on something interesting about royal families like his. In Dubai, the personal life and public role of a royal are really connected. When Sheikh Hamdan married Sheikha Sheikha bint Said bin Thani Al Maktoum in 2019, it wasn't just about them getting married, it was also about their families coming together. In royal families, marriage is about more than just love. It's about traditions and power joining together. We don't know a lot about Sheikh Hamdan's private life with his family because they keep it pretty private, but we do know that family is super important for someone like him. You might be thinking, how does he handle being a public figure and also take care of his family? That's a tough one, and we can only guess, but it's clear that being a royal means handling a lot of responsibilities, and balancing family life is a big part of it. As we look into Sheikh Hamdan's life, let's remember that there's more to being a royal than just the fancy title. They have their own personal stories, challenges, and relationships just like anyone else. So, let's keep that in mind as we learn more about him. Let's talk about something you probably know a lot about, social media. I'm sure some of you have checked out Sheikh Hamdan's Instagram. It's full of cool stuff like his adventures, work, and sometimes bits of his personal life. But here's something to think about. Unlike other famous people who post a lot about their lives, Sheikh Hamdan is more private, especially about his family. This is pretty normal for royal families. They share some things but keep a lot of their personal life to themselves. For someone like Sheikh Hamdan with so many followers, every photo and caption is chosen for a reason. It's not just about what he shows us, but also what he doesn't. So when you look at his posts, remember that each one is just a small part of a bigger story. It's interesting, right? How he shows us some things but keeps others hidden. As we learn more about Sheikh Hamdan, Remember that his social media is just one part of who he is. It gives us a peek into his life, but there's a lot more going on that we don't see. Let's stay curious as we keep exploring his story. Let's pause for a second and talk about something a bit tricky in the lives of royal people like Sheikh Hamdan. It might seem like their lives are pretty simple and problem-free, but actually it's a lot more complicated. In royal families, the choices they make aren't just about them. They can affect their whole family, traditions, and sometimes even their country. We don't have exact details about Sheikh Hamdan's personal issues or big family decisions, but it's pretty common for royals to deal with this kind of stuff. Their choices can change a lot more than just their own lives. I want you to think about how tough it must be to make decisions when they impact so many people. It's a lot of pressure, right? When we look into the lives of royals like Sheikh Hamdan, remember that their decisions are part of something bigger. They're thinking about a lot of things we might not see. So, whenever you hear about a choice made by someone like Sheikh Hamdan, remember there's probably a lot more to it. It's a really interesting and complicated world. Let's keep learning about it with an open mind. All right, everyone, we're coming to the end of our video and I wanna chat with you for a minute. We've just had a look at the life of Sheikh Hamdan a mix of being a royal, following traditions, and being part of today's world. It's pretty different from most of our lives, and it's been great exploring it with you. Let's remember, Sheikh Hamdan isn't just a famous person. He's got a whole country looking up to him, and he's always in the public eye. But what we talked about today is just a small part of his whole story. His life is full of things we see, 
and lots more we don't. I hope this video made you think more about what goes on behind the scenes for people like Sheikh Hamdan. They've got really interesting lives, way beyond what we see in pictures and headlines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you won't miss our next videos. Keep asking questions and looking for answers. There's always more to learn. See you next time. Today, we're going to talk about a secret talk between Sheikh Hamdan and his dad, Sheikh Mohammed. This talk might help us understand what's going on in their family now. Sheikha Thani told her father-in-law about what's been going on with her and Sheikh Hamdan. She also talked about something interesting that happened between Sheikh Hamdan and Hadia Zen, his second wife, in Uzbekistan. This made Sheikh Mohammed and Sheikh Hamdan have a private talk. We don't know what they talked about, but it's important. Let's get into it and find out more about this story of love, secrets, and family problems. Let's take a moment to chat with you directly. We've told you a lot about Sheikh Hamdan's family story. What do you think about it? How do you think these secret talks and new information might change things in their family? We really want to know what you think, so please write your ideas in the comments. Your views are really important to us and make our conversation even better. Something big happened in Sheikh Hamdan's family story when Sheikh Atani, after having problems with Sheikh Hamdan, decided to talk to her father-in-law, Sheikh Mohammed. This wasn't just a normal chat. Sheikh Athani told Sheikh Mohammed about some serious things going on in her marriage. She talked about a special meeting between Sheikh Hamdan and his second wife, Hadia Zen, in Uzbekistan. This was important because it's not common for the royal family to talk about their private lives like this. Sheikh Athani's choice to tell Sheikh Mohammed these things shows she really trusted him and maybe felt she had no other choice. What she said was about more than just arguments at home. It was about sharing secrets that are usually kept quiet in their family. We can't be sure how Sheikh Mohammed felt when he heard this. As a dad and a powerful person in the family, his reaction is a big deal. What he says or does next could change a lot of things for everyone in the family. This secret talk might change how the family members get along with each other, as people watching this story, we are left wondering about a lot. What did Sheikh Mohammed and Sheikh Hamdan talk about after this? How did it affect Sheikh Hamdan's relationships with Sheikh Atani and Hadia Zen? These questions make the story of this family and their complex relationships even more interesting. A very private and important talk took place between Sheikh Mohammed and Sheikh Hamdan after Sheikh Atani told Sheikh Mohammed about her problems with Sheikh Hamdan. This conversation was kept away from everyone else and was a big deal for the family. We don't know exactly what they talked about, but it's interesting to think about. Sheikh Mohammed, being the head of the family and a very influential person, probably had a lot of serious things to say. He might have been trying to figure out the best way to handle the situation. Sheikh Hamdan, on the other hand, was in a tough spot. He had to think about his own feelings and also what his role in the family and public expects from him. This talk was more than just a family chat. It was really important and could change a lot of things for Sheikh Hamdan and his family. After the talk, Sheikh Hamdan seemed really upset, which shows that whatever they talked about was a big deal. We can only guess what they discussed. Maybe Sheikh Mohammed gave advice or made some decisions that Sheikh Hamdan had to follow. We also wonder how Sheikh Hamdan's own thoughts and feelings were part of this talk. These guesses make the story of the family more interesting. It shows how hard it can be to balance personal problems and family responsibilities, especially when you are a well-known family. The talk was a key moment in understanding what's going on with Sheikh Hamdan, Sheikh Athani, and Hadiya Zen, and how they are handling their complicated family situation. We've just discussed the secretive and possibly game-changing conversation between Sheikh Mohammed and Sheikh Hamdan. What do you think might have been said in this private talk? Your guesses and opinions are really important to us. Do you think Sheikh Mohammed gave advice, set some rules, or something else? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. It's these personal insights from you that make our exploration of this royal family story even more interesting. We're curious to hear what you believe happened in that confidential conversation. After the intense and private conversation with his father, Sheikh Mohammed, 
Sheikh Hamdan sought solace in a place that has always been a source of peace for him, the desert. This trip to the desert symbolizes more than just a getaway. It's a journey into the heart of his own emotions and thoughts, away from the complexities of royal life and family pressures. The desert, with its vast openness and tranquility, has often been a retreat for those seeking clarity and calm, and for Sheikh Hamdan, it was no different. In the expansive and serene desert landscape, away from the public eye and the responsibilities of his position, he could reflect on the weighty conversation and its implications for his future, both personal and as a member of the royal family. Sheikh Hamdan's choice to retreat to the desert indicates a deep need to process and understand his emotions. It's a moment of introspection, likely filled with contemplation about his relationships with Sheikh Athani and Hadiya Zen, and the expectations placed upon him by his family and position. The desert, in its silent majesty, provides a backdrop for this inner journey. This trip may also signify a search for answers or a need to reconnect with himself, away from the demands and scrutiny of royal life. It's a personal pilgrimage where the solitude and simplicity of the desert environment allow for a deeper understanding of one's self and one's place in the world. Sheikh Hamdan's return from the desert could mark a turning point in how he chooses to handle the ongoing family saga. Will this time of solitude bring new perspectives or resolutions? How will it influence his decisions regarding his relationships and responsibilities? This desert retreat is not just a physical journey, but a metaphorical one, representing a quest for inner peace and direction amidst life's storms. A big part of this story is about what Sheikh Mohammed, Sheikh Hamdan's dad, wants, he really hopes to see Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh Hathani have another child. In their royal family, having more children is very important because it's about keeping the family line going. But this is tricky for Sheikh Hamdan. He has to think about what his dad wants, which is a big deal in their family. At the same time, he has feelings for Hadiya Zen, his second wife, which makes things more complicated. There's also the fact that Sheikh Hathani is not just his wife, but his cousin too. This makes Sheikh Hamdan not too sure about having more kids with her. Sheikh Mohammed keeps bringing up this wish, showing he really wants to have a say in Sheikh Hamdan's personal life. It's a tough situation because it shows how, in their royal family, personal choices and family responsibilities are all mixed up. Let's pause for a bit and think about something. Sheikh Hamdan has to deal with what his family wants and what he himself wants, which can be really hard. You might have faced something similar, right? Trying to make your family happy while also doing what you want is tough. I'd love to hear from you about this. How do you manage when your family expects one thing, but you want something different? Let us know in the comments. Sharing these kinds of things helps us all understand each other, and stories like Sheikh Hamdan's better. We've come to the end of our talk about what's happening in Sheikh Hamdan's family. It's a story with many different parts secret talks, a trip to the desert, and trying to make both family and yourself happy. This story is not just about a royal family, it's something many of us can understand. It's about dealing with family, making tough choices, and trying to find happiness. Thanks for watching and talking with us about Sheikh Hamdan, Sheikh Hatani, Hadiya Zen, and Sheikh Mohammed. Your thoughts make our talks even better. Remember to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss our next videos. We love seeing your likes, shares, and comments. See you next time, and keep letting us know what you think about this interesting family story. Before we say goodbye, here's a quick thought. This story about Sheikh Hamdan shows us that even royal families have to make tough choices, just like us. What do you think about all this? Please tell us in the comments. Also, if you like this video, Remember to hit the subscribe button for more. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We've got more interesting stuff coming up, and you won't want to miss our next video. See you soon, and keep letting us know what you think.